In this video, I'm going to show you how to undo or redo any change that you make using Elementor. Hi, my name is Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make WordPress videos for non-techies. If you like the content in this video, please consider clicking on the subscribe button. And if you'd like video notifications, there's a bell off to the right. Click on that. YouTube will let you know when I have a new video. Okay, so this video is going to be about Elementor and how some new features that they recently added could really save you a lot of time and can really save your butt to be honest. Now prior to this beta release that it just was made available now in about seven or eight days or so this will be uh, a, an update that's pushed to everyone that uses Elementor so if you're watching this video in seven days from now you're going to already have the feature and this is one that I think everybody's been wanting and it's pretty amazing the way that they implemented it. So if you're used to using a computer on your PC, if you want to undo something, say when you're using Word, you can just hit Command and then Z to undo. And they've added essentially that same feature to Elementor. It's going to track every change that you make and it's going to easily allow you to go back in time to change it. And if you're using a Mac, it's going to be the Apple key in Z. I use a Mac. What do they call it? It's called actually that's called the command. On the PC, it's control. Okay, so I got a little back backwards there. So, anyways, here's the new beta, and you can also do a redo. It's going to be that same key uh, key combination just also hit the shift key. This is a good time to take a look at all of the hotkeys that are available for Elementor. If you didn't know, they have these keyboard hotkey shortcuts. I'm sure this will be updated shortly to include this new one. So you can use the same combination, control S to save, control P to preview, and there's three other short key shortcuts or hotkeys, whatever you choose to call it. So let me just show it to you in action. So here I am in and say on this button, when I click on it, when I do the hover, it's showing me this black co color and say I wanted to test it out with a different color. So I would probably go to style, I would scroll down and I would choose this hover option and there's that black color. Let's see if I wanted to make that white and then I probably need to change the text color to a darker color. Let's just go with the black color right there. So I just made my change and let's see. Yeah, so just essentially the background staying white and the font color is turning black. You can see it there. And this is a good time to try our preview shortcut key. I'm going to do command P and it's going to show it to me right there. Now let me get back out of there and say I don't want that. I can literally click on Control Z and I can undo the last change. So the last change was the, I just hit it. Actually, did you see I just clicked it and the color changed. I bet if I click it one more time, this is gonna change from white to black. Let's see, oh, there it is. That's how easy it is. And then I can actually move forward by hitting Command Shift Z and it made it white again, Command Shift Z and it made that black again. And you can see there's a new icon in the panel here. So now we have this new one. When you hover over it, it says history. You click on that and it's going to show you your history of edits that you made in this session that you're in uh, with your page. Now when you save it, then it's going to become a revision. So when you click on the revision tab, then you can jump backward and forward in various revisions. But in between, you have this ability ability to undo and to redo, which I think is huge. There's a lot of times here, actually, let me show you a better example of it. So say I drag this button right there and I think, oh my gosh, what did I do that for? I don't like that. All you have to do is do Command Z, buttons right back. It's as easy as that. So these are new hotkeys that are just added to Elementor. I think it's going to be huge, huge, huge convenience factor. Now, if you want to learn more about Elementor, I do have a training course called Elementor Essentials. If you are interested in purchasing Elementor Pro, I'll have a link down below. When you do purchase it through the link, I give you access to this course, or you can purchase the course. It's $150. Um, so anyways, if you have any great ideas of some hotkeys that you think Elementor should add to the plugin, why don't you add that information in the comments section down below? I think it'd be very helpful for the developers to hear what we want and what shortcut keys or hotkeys or whatever you want to call them you think would be useful as you build websites with Elementor. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.